Zara forgot that it was Love Island, not get back at Tom Island, and thus she'll be sitting at home watching every girl that she tried to put off Tom, Ekin Sue, crawl their way back to him. And I'm mad at her because she was great TV, and now the girl that got the phrase bad boy piece of information on national television is gone all because she wanted to tell Tom about his penis and his parents in that order. Now, Shaquin Luther King, I love your speeches as much as the next guy, but I have a dream that you and Tanya will be the first black couple that almost wins Love Island, but then still don't because this is England. You could have took Ron to the side to tell him off, and then the only reason I'm letting you off is because Will and Spencer backed you, so it didn't seem that wild. Also, I have no problem believing Shaq might believe he's in love with Tanya after three weeks. They've spent the time equivalence of a couple that's been together for three months in there with no distractions, no phone, no TV. They have to be each other's source of entertainment, so it's possible reality can be warped enough for him to believe that. Either way, he can't go anywhere anyway because he's been Shaklomex in so many talks with the mandem that nobody would allow him to sway his head without calling him a hypocrite. I'm assuming... The only reason Tanya, aka her hips do lie, is getting away with comforting Lana on a Monday and moving to Ron on a Tuesday is because Ron is indifferent to her existence. As for Kai, Sammy don't want you. She's not going to kiss you. She don't want her face getting sanded down by the corners of your mouth. Lana, this new guy said that you're his type. Ron said that Sammy is his type. So let's figure it out together as a family. If George has four apples and Samantha takes two, how much times are you going to let Ron mug you off 